Morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Varun, and I'm a PhD candidate at Harvard. So pretty excited to be here to talk about a new way to design audit systems. Uh, so yeah, without much ado, uh, let's dive right into it. So system auditing is immensely critical for the forensic analysis of cyber attacks. Enterprise machines run audit systems so that in case the machine gets compromised, the logs that are generated by the audit system, which are essentially a record of all security-related events executed on the machine, serve as input to a forensic analyst and form the basis of any kind of attack analysis. Now, given the use case of logs, we must ask ourselves, what properties does the analyst require from these logs to be effective in achieving the goal of accurate forensic analysis? So we can reason based on first principles that there are two key prerequisites. First, the logs have not been tampered with and can be retrieved from the compromised machine for analysis. Therefore, the analyst should be able to trust that the audit system provides integrity and availability guarantees for the logs. And second, the logs provide a detailed view of all events leading up to the compromise. So if these prerequisites are met, we can reason that the logs generated will be useful in analyzing the attacks. Unfortunately, the logs generated by today's audit systems do not achieve these two properties. But why is that the case? So in today's times, attackers don't just compromise unprivileged software, but also are capable of attacking the kernel. And following a kernel level attack, the audit system getting compromised is imminent, such that not only the audit system can't be trusted post compromise, but the logs residing on the compromised machine can be easily tampered with, which means that the attacker can either delete them or modify them. Now there has indeed been some work done in the past that focuses on preventing logs from being tampered and it relies on protected storage, which is basically a device that resides outside of the machine and cannot be reached by the attacker. In this approach, the logs that are generated are managed in the kernel memory and written to protected storage via the network stack or a USB interface. But because of the high latency of writing to IO devices, performance is optimized by implementing asynchronous logging, which means that logs are buffered in the kernel memory and writes to the remote device are batched. As a result of which, they leave a non-trivial number of log records stored in the kernel memory vulnerable to tampering. These logs are also extremely important from an analysis standpoint, as they are the last set of security-related events executed by an attacker before successfully compromising the kernel. And beyond log tampering, there's also a second challenge that is faced by today's audit systems, which is that they don't keep a detailed trace of events. So at a high level, any audit system is configured with a rule set that determines what system call events get logged. Several influential rule sets exist which are considered to be standard across government, industry, and academia. Uh, but when we analyzed a set of 164 proof of concept exploits that we found on GitHub to understand the event coverage of these rule sets, we found out that an audit system configured with these rule sets would cover a significantly low percentage of events. In fact, the highest that we saw was actually just barely 15.4% with the academic rule set. More surprisingly, most of these rule sets did not log even a single event for a non-trivial number of exploits, which means that these exploits would fly below the radar of any audit system because the standard rule sets do not log the system calls invoked by these exploits. So based on the limitations of existing audit systems, how do we go about building a practical audit system with the outline guarantees of tamper prevention and detailed event tracing while also achieving a manageable performance overhead? So to build an audit system that prevents any logs from getting tampered, it needs to guarantee that every log record is protected before the event is executed, such that when a system call is invoked, the audit system generates the record and writes it to protected storage to protect the log record and only then executes the system call. However, synchronous writes again to an IO device can incur significant performance overhead. Therefore, designing an efficient mechanism to achieve this property is extremely important for us. So, and again, similarly in the context of generating a detailed trace of events, kernel exploits can invoke a diverse set of system call in today's times. In fact, uh, the 164 proof of concept exploits that I had mentioned previously had invoked 146 unique system calls. Therefore, logging all system calls is the only practical way to guarantee event coverage in case of a successful attack. But we measured the performance overhead of Audit D uh, when it was configured to log all system calls, 
and found out that such an extensive rule set incurs a pretty prohibitive uh, slowdown on existing workloads. Uh, in fact, this overhead that we see over here for Audit D uh, is, with, is with Audit D performing asynchronous logging. Therefore, we can anticipate the overhead would be much worse in the case of synchronous logging. So uh, with this, I now present our design for OmniLog, to, uh, which aims to address the efficiency challenges which are currently posing as practical constraints around achieving synchronous logging and, efficient logging, and implementing an efficient logging pipeline. So OmniLog builds uh, a protected environment to achieve synchronous logging, where it creates an isolated memory region to protect logs in memory uh, synchronously, and also isolates the storage device on the machine itself to persist the logs locally, and therefore is able to copy the logs to an isolated memory, to this isolated memory, and eventually write them to the protected disk to prevent the logs from tampering. Uh, to address the challenge of an efficient logging pipeline, uh, OmniLog basically redesigns the pipeline end-to-end -end and demonstrates an optimized version which enables the audit system to handle a high volume of security-related events, for example, system calls, and this translates into fast log generation, protection, and persistence. So how does OmniLog build this protected environment? So um, we basically use a set of uh, really rich CPU features, for example, the architectural system management mode on ARM, for example, the, the AL3, and uh, the hypervisor enforcement layer, like the VMX on x86, uh, which can isolate memory region and devices, for example, a disk, from the untrusted OS, and provide this region with high privileges so that it can manage log protection, persistence, and even power management to guarantee that logs are persisted before uh, a shutdown. So to, to ensure that the latency of log protection is low, once this isolation has been enforced on the memory region, the kernel level attacker can't access the logs which might exist in the protected buffer uh, within this uh, environment. And similarly, the attacker can't tamper with the logs in the protected disk. Now, when a system call is invoked, the logs are synchronously copied to this in-memory buffer in the protected environment, and the system call is executed. And then behind the scenes, these logs are asynchronously written to the protected disk. Now, in order to build an optimized logging pipeline, we profiled the Linux audit system to understand the intrinsic bottlenecks in existing pipelines. And we found out that uh, the log generation module uh, generates logs in a human-readable format, which are basically ASCII strings that can go up to the size of one kilobyte. And the latency that we observed on our test machine was roughly 12,000 cycles. On the memory management front, logs are managed in a global shared buffer, which causes non-trivial inter-core contention. And then on the persistence front, logs are asynchronously persisted to the disk, but the system has to wait while a full buffer is being written to it. Due to this, the performance overhead of you know, systems like Audit D for uh, the real-world workloads can be fairly non-trivial. Now, to optimize this logging pipeline with OmniLog, we address each of these things independently, where for log generation, we now generate logs in a binary format while also compacting the logs uh, by compressing the static content. And this reduces the log size to 64 bytes on average, and also reduces the average log latency to roughly 3,000 cycles. For log protection, we implement per-core partitions in OmniLog's isolated memory region to eliminate any inter-core contention. And to optimize persistence, we implement a dual buffer mechanism uh, per core for, for each per core partition, where there is a backup buffer to protect the logs while one buffer is being written to disk. And then there's a background thread that keeps track of all the full buffers and asynchronously writes them to the disk. This doesn't really solve the problem of stalls, but mitigates the problem by reducing the likelihood of such events. So these steps cumulatively optimize the pipeline sufficiently to allow OmniLog to log all system calls. So uh, we then prototype uh, on log on ARM and x86 and analyze the relative performance overhead over a native system with no logging on these real world workloads under a rule set uh, configured to cover all system calls. We find that OmniLog ARM incurs uh, an overhead of 3.2% uh, in geometric mean and a 3.6% uh, geometric mean overhead on the x86 prototype, which shows practical viability of OmniLog across multiple platforms. In summary, uh, here are the key takeaways. Uh, in our paper, we demonstrate that OmniLog as a novel audit, audit architecture pushes the state of the art in secure audit systems by achieving synchronous log availability on the machine. We also prototype an optimized version of a logging pipeline that incurs minimal performance overhead, even when logging all system calls. 
So with OmniLog, we can truly achieve the gold standard of logging, where we can log all system calls and protect the corresponding log records against kernel-level attacks. Uh, with that, I conclude my talk uh, and would love to thank all my co-authors. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. That's the speaker.